On October 22, 2024, Yer Chernov, a People's Deputy and head of Ukraine's NATO Parliamentary Assembly delegation, announced that concrete results from a use of Ukrainian-made ballistic missiles, likely the RIM-2, would soon be revealed. During a televised appearance, Chernov highlighted that while some rockets had already been tested, ongoing issues related to component availability persist. He assured that results would soon be visible to both Ukraine and Russia, signaling a critical phase in Ukraine's defense strategy. The development and production of missiles within Ukraine have been progressing steadily. President Zelensky emphasized the nation's notable advancements in missile technology, particularly at the Ukraine 2024 Independence Forum on August 27, 2024, where he announced the successful test of what is likely the country's first locally manufactured ballistic missile, the RIM-2. This event marked a significant milestone, underscoring Ukraine's commitment to self-reliance in missile production and reducing its dependency on Western weapons amid the ongoing conflict with Russia. Ukraine's missile program has birthed several noteworthy systems, including the RIM-2, also known as Grim-2, Grom-2, Thunder, or OTRK Sapsan, a short-range ballistic missile system designed to rival Russia's Iskander missile. The RIM-2 is poised to replace the aging Soviet-era Tachki-U missiles, boasting a range of up to 700 kilometers for Ukrainian forces, an impressive increase from its previous range of 450 to 500 kilometers. In contrast, the export version of the RIM-2 has a more limited range of 50 to 280 kilometers. One of the missile's key features is its evasive capabilities, which include an aeroballistic flight path that allows it to bypass advanced air defense systems like Russia's S-300 and S-400. The RIM-2's versatility enables it to launch both ballistic and cruise missiles, making it effective for various applications, from air defense to coastal operations. The ongoing conflict with Russia has intensified the urgency for Ukraine to develop long-range weaponry. Zelensky has repeatedly urged Western allies to lift restrictions on the use of such arms, citing the escalation of Russian bombardments. Ukrainian forces have conducted bold offensives, including operations in Russia's Kursk region, to mitigate their lack of long-range weaponry. The Ukrainian president has underscored the need for stronger retaliatory capabilities in response to Russian missile attacks originating from regions like Kursk and Belgorod. The RIM-2 system plays a pivotal role in Ukraine's evolving missile program and defense strategy. Although specific details of the RIM-2's capabilities remain classified, its current range for the Ukrainian army is believed to be around 700 kilometers, enabling strikes deep into Russian-held territory. This significant increase in range compared to the export version's 280 km capacity provides Ukraine the ability to target key strategic assets, including military infrastructure in Crimea. Ukrainian sources have linked the system to several successful strikes on Russian military targets, including a reported attack on a Russian airfield in Crimea, demonstrating its operational effectiveness. Details about the RIM, too, remain limited, but Brigadier General Serhii Baranov has indicated that improvements are underway, and the effects of these advancements will soon be felt by Russian forces. Despite Russia's claims of intercepting these missiles and destroying related production facilities, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense remains optimistic about future developments. They anticipate that Ukraine's missile production capabilities will continue to expand, potentially reaching ranges of up to 1,000 kilometers. These efforts are entirely funded by the national budget, highlighting Ukraine's commitment to achieving self-sufficiency in military production. The design of the RIM-2 reflects flexibility in deployment, as it can be launched from mobile platforms and accommodate various warheads. This adaptability allows it to fulfill both defensive and offensive roles, targeting supply routes, command centers, and other critical Russian military assets. Military experts assert that possessing a missile system like the RIM-2 enhances Ukraine's ability to conduct independent military operations, reducing the reliance on Western-supplied long-range weapons. As Ukraine continues to navigate its complex conflict with Russia, advancements in missile technology, particularly through the development of the RIM-2 ballistic missile, represent a crucial step toward enhancing its defense capabilities. With ongoing efforts to improve production and operational effectiveness, Ukraine is positioning itself to assert greater control over its military strategy and reduce reliance on external support, ultimately shaping the future of its defense landscape.